<sighs> damn, damn, damn. I, I, I didn't think I would have to make a response to anybody on Gen X because I thought people on Gen X were so logical. I thought y'all had it together. I thought y'all brains, you know, were, were you know, spun in the same direction as everybody else in the real world. You know, I, I didn't think y'all would, you know, um, y'all really lived on imaginary lawns or, you know, in picket fences and all that. I didn't think that stuff was real, you know. But uh, notice the title. Notice the title. Look up there. Look. Niggas bragging about being in the military. What the fuck does that shit have to do with shit? You know what I'm saying? What the hell does that have to do with this topic? The video I just uploaded before this one. What the hell does that have to do with the subject at hand? Sergeant Willie Pete lives with his mother and daddy. His mommy and daddy. What the fuck do your military credentials have to do with this subject? Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the people in the military. Y'all over there keeping the motherfucking Arabs and the, and the Saudi Arabians and the people that blow each other up over there. Y'all keep them over there. Good. I appreciate all the troops, everybody that's died for this God-forsaken country. I thank you all. You know, hand claps, kudos, all that. But niggas that brag about, you know, all these procedures and what they've done, their accomplishments, and then they want to back up some house nigga that's still living under his mommy and daddy. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how long this nigga's been in school. This motherfucker is 30. 30 motherfucking years old. Does he not realize we're in a recession? Does he not realize that this motherfucker might be here? be in this motherfucking situation until he's 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers ain't finding no motherfucking jobs that easy. You know what I'm saying out here? You know what I'm saying? Like, we got so much racial profiling and all this stuff, and y'all motherfuckers want to brag about being in the military. Y'all motherfuckers want to want to bring up all these credentials. What credentials does Sergeant Willie P have? You know what I'm saying? What, what foundation does he have to build on? You know what I'm saying? He has all these stories about black men coming together and marching the Million Man March and breaking through America. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm tired of these motherfuckers trying to recreate Africa on American soil. We are in America, people. This imaginary motherfucking, you know, men rule everything. You know, the black man is supposed to be the head. We are at the head. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know? Motherfuckers are dropping the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can we even come together when everybody is trying to separate each other from, you know, people and calling each other gigolos and, you know, calling you a dummy and all that? How you supposed to, how black men supposed to be together when y'all motherfucking dividing each other up? You know what I'm saying? When y'all motherfucking separating each other. That's why I don't get down with these black men vent movements. That's why I don't get down with y'all crap because. Y'all motherfuckers are some hypocrites. How y'all motherfuckers supposed to be loving each other? How y'all motherfuckers supposed to be for each other when y'all motherfuckers ain't even on the same level? You know what I'm saying? So what you was in the military? What the fuck does that do for me? What the fuck does that do for the black community? So what? <laughs> so so the fuck what? What what's your point? What's what, what's your reason for making that video response? That shit is stupid. What the fuck is your point? That's all I want to know. What the fuck was your fucking point? You know what I'm saying? Like, you calling all these people out. I read your comments under the video. Everyone was correct. Sergeant Willie P shouldn't be talking about these damn subjects when he's living in... He's not even living in the real world right now. You know what I'm saying? He's not even on his fucking own. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what it is out here. He don't know what it, it's like out here. You know what I'm saying? Every black person shouldn't be talking about a damn black issue. You know what I'm saying? I, and I say that for the hood niggas and for the fucking upper echelon niggas. Everybody shouldn't be talking about these issues because clearly, clearly, y'all motherfuckers are oblivious to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, all y'all want to do is pound on black women all day. You know what I'm saying? You don't get any, first of all. You know what I'm saying? So, you got all this shit to say about black women, right? And then you want to 
talk about the black men that are with the black women, right? And talk about how bummy and how Jesus fied and how simpish they are. But y'all motherfuckers ain't got nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that shit, uh, Mr. Silky Baby. Can you, would you care to explain this? Or are you going to throw some more military credentials at me? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear about your resume. You know, that does nothing for the black community. <laughs> nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's like a motherfucking uh, uh, businessman walking into McDonald's and talking about how the McDonald's workers work in McDonald's. What the fuck does that do for them? Are you going to hire them, motherfucker? Are you going to, you going to fucking uh, uh, be a savior to their uh, lives? You going to do something for them instead of sitting back and running your fucking mouth? That's what Sergeant Willie P is doing right now. To me. You know, that y'all motherfuckers don't get it. That's why I can't fuck with y'all on Gen X, man. I can't fuck with y'all. Y'all topics are good, but that's the only thing. That's the only thing that's good about that damn site is the damn topics. The people up there suck. <laughs> the people up there suck, man. Y'all motherfuckers are really, really tripping. You know, I was with y'all up until now. Y'all just keep regurgitating the same bullshit. Y'all ain't getting nowhere. It's like a mother. It's like y'all trying to move a fucking big ass rock or a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers ain't got even two meters off the damn ground, man. You know how many motherfuckers is laughing at y'all right now? I don't understand it, man. I'm glad y'all don't show y'all faces, cause y'all, ooh, wow, man, wow, wow. That whole video was just full of holes and bullshit. I don't even like I'm surprised I even responded to it but you know just the idiocracy of it just made just built some fire up inside me that I was just like you know what I got to get them I got to get them I'm sorry I got to get them I, the arrogance man the arrogance of y'all motherfuckers man y'all ain't even got a woman on y'all motherfucking side man the arrogance the arrogance but that's G-Man on Live Forever on it, man. Y'all look at this fool's video and tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm not seeing something correctly here. Because uh, it sounds like he just mashed up some information, put his credentials in there, tried to defend Sergeant Willie P's ass about being at his mama's house. And I, this, this ain't even first grade level. But uh, that's G-Man on Live Forever on it. <laughs> Peace.